Hey guys, I was watching a show called Man vs. Food the other day, and if you haven't seen it, it's just this dude that tries to eat just ridiculous amounts of, of food, and usually it turns out to be something like burgers or ice cream or some sort of treat, stuff like that. So he's doing this kitchen sink ice cream challenge where they literally just brought out a kitchen sink full of ice cream and he's got to pound it in you know a, a certain amount of time or one sitting or something like that it's just it's it's pounds and pounds of ice cream and so he goes at it he starts and then he kind of hits a wall and he couldn't eat any more ice cream so he asked the server he's at this restaurant with this crowd and stuff like that he asked the server to bring him over a plate of extra salty, extra crunchy french fries. And he eats some of these fries and then he is able to go back and eat more of the ice cream and actually finish the challenge. So he was able to eat more food by eating more food. He just had to change up the kind of this sensation on the tongue in order to do so. so this is just called sensory specific satiety and it basically means that we get sort of palate fatigue or our tongue, tongue gets tired of the same taste over and over but if we kind of throw in a different taste in the mix we can go back to that other one and eat more, more of that food without feeling that sort of palate fatigue. So eat a bunch of ice cream. Uh, get tired of it, change it up with the salty, crunchy fries, and then we're able to go back to the ice cream when without the fries we wouldn't have been able to crush all that, all that dessert. So super interesting stuff and you want to just think about how your, your palate fatigue or too many options or too many different sort of things at a meal are influencing how much you're actually consuming. So this is the kind of classic thing where you eat your dinner, you're so full, but somehow you have that second stomach for dessert and it's because your, your satiety or you're feeling satiated off the dinner or the foods that you have, but you could have something different. So dinner might have been you know savory and then dessert is super sweet. So uh, just something to think about, get the wheels turning as far as that second stomach around dessert and how we're actually able to eat more food by switching up the sort of the sensory input to the tongue um, and, and the brain, of course, and then eat more uh, of, a, of a given food that we were, you know, initially sort of tired of. So if you have any questions around this, I, I hope that all made sense, but uh, pretty cool stuff. Check out the clip if you're interested and uh, let me know if you have any questions. Hope this helped guys, see ya.